This is the line for the soil resistivity survey, trending 340 degrees, approximately 30 meters long. This is the AGI Super Sting R1IP. We'll be using it today for the soil resistivity test, but it's also used for ERT surveys and induced polarization surveys. Off the bottom left into the cannon plug port, uh, you can see that we have uh, 12 volt uh, connectors that we'll be using this to field operate it on uh, battery power. Just to the left of that, I have uh, four contact probes, four steel contact probes, A, M, N, and B, that we will be using to inject current into the ground. And to the right of the super sting, I have the uh, electrical wire connections, too long and too short, in order to uh, provide, again, current into the ground. Here is the first position of the array. The wooden marker is exactly at the middle point of the array. The spacing of the electrodes is 0 0.3 meters apart. Each of the electrodes is inserted into the soil 8 centimeters as per the data sheet. Potential electrodes are now hooked up. M and N. M, which is the red, comes out here to this electrode, which is 0 0.15 meters away from the midpoint of the ray. And on the other side, we have M, uh, sorry, N, right here. So again, we have a total separation, an A separation of 0 0.3 meters. Each of these has an offset of 0 0.15 meters from the center of the array. Now I've hooked up the current electrodes, A on the left hand side with the long lead and B on the far right hand side also with the very long lead. So A on the left in red and B on the right in black. Here we're going to turn on the unit. It's going to initialize, come up with the main menu. First thing we want to do is put into manual mode off the main menu. So that's hitting function two. Now in manual mode, we could run resistance check, run a Schlumberger array, Venner, dipole, dipole, etc. So in this task, we're run, going to run the, uh, the Venner array. That's number three. Number one, create a data file or sorry, number one, select a data file, number two, create a data file. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to create a data file, and then we're going to, uh, by hitting number two, uh, new file name, maximum eight characters. So I could just call this uh, uh, home. I, again, we're in my backyard. Uh, what's interesting here is there's, uh, the keys here is obviously multiple characters. So for example, if I want to write the word home, and on that's number nine, it's uh, GHI. I actually hit F2 and then hit nine as uh, H is the second uh, alpha character on the nine key. So I have to hit F2 to initiate that as well. So for if, uh, HO, if I want O next, I hit F3 and then hit number five, and that comes with the N for O. And then uh, M is gonna be one like that. And then E is the second character on the 8 key, so F2, just like that. Enter. Press the key to continue. Choose my units. We will work in number one, meters. Okay, so I'm back to the Venner array. I have uh, selected data file. It's going to write to data file called home. The A spacing is something that I have to change. Again, we're starting on uh, 0 0.3 for the first spacing. So I'm going to hit 3. 
and then I'm going to write uh, 0 uh, 0.3 uh, enter okay you'll see it says uh, 300 mm it actually changed it to 300 millimeters which is the exact same uh, thing as 0 0.3 meters okay now simply I just hit the MEA the measure button to take its first measurement and we'll record the data So apparent resistivity, 11.36 ohm meters. Resistance is 6.027 ohms. Standard deviation is going to be uh, the difference between multiple readings. So we want low uh, standard deviations. It's going to take two readings and give us an average of the two. So that's why it says cycles uh, equals two and has a low standard deviation. And then of course we could get a, a current uh, that is uh, uh, given to us again at 488.7 milliamps. So, let's take another uh, measurement after this data is recorded. Standard deviation is 0 0.1. Resistance 6.027. Parent resistivity 11.36. Okay, so we're going to take another measurement. It'll beep when it's complete. There it is. 11.34 for the apparent resistivity, resistance 6.016, 0 percent standard deviation, and the um, current 493.0. Of course, knowing Ohm's law, we could go ahead and we could back calculate to make sure these values are correct, and we will do that as an exercise. So what I'm going to do now is move to the next station. The next station is going to have a probe separation of 0 0.6 meters, and we will repeat the measurements again for uh, station two. This is the probe configuration at the second interval, 0 0.6 meter reading. Uh, yep. There she is again. Okay, before we take a reading at 0 0.6 meters, we have to change our A spacing. So we go to number 3, and we'll change that to 0 0.6. Enter. Of course, we'll change that to 600 millimeters. And with our probes all uh, in the perfect um, location, we could go ahead and just hit MEA for measure. Now it's actually on the, the third reading. So we're taking two readings at each point. So we have a change in resistivity that we have to note. So apparent resistivity, 8.753. Resistance, 2.322 ohms. Standard deviation, zero. Current injected should be higher. Yep, 511.4 milliamps. Let's go ahead and take another meeting or another reading. Sit measure. Good. These readings look uh, the same. Very similar. Zero percent standard deviation. 8.747. Uh, apparent resistivity. 2.320 resistance and the current 519.3 milliamps. Okay, on to the next station, which is going to be a separation of one meter. This is the probe configuration at a one meter spacing.
Yeah, let's reconfigure the super sting for a one meter A spacing and start the survey. So number three, change A to 1.0, enter. And now you can see here, it's just clearly 1.000 meters. And uh, go ahead and uh, hit MEA to start a measurement. And that's measurement number five. The first measurement of our third reading. Note the values here. 8.449 ohm meters. Resistance 1.345 ohms. Zero standard deviation. Again, for data quality. 493.9 milliamps. Go ahead and take another reading. Measurement number six in the data file. Okay. 8.445 ohm meters. 1.344 resistance, zero standard de deviation, and uh, 501.1 milliamps. Hope you can see that okay on the display. Next station will be a two meter probe separation. The stakes have been moved to a two meter interval spacing. Yeah, I had some troubleshooting as I moved my probes or my stakes to the two meter configurations. First of all, I had a banana plug come loose that was hard to detect. And then one of my current uh, electrodes um, lost connection to its clamp. So I got a high voltage reading. Um, so I had to troubleshoot which one it was. Anyway, so I took a, a reading here at uh, two meters, uh, 10.06 uh, ohm meters, the parent resistivity, resistance 800.8 milliamps, uh, 0.2 standard deviation and 589.8 milliamps. Again, if I want to just take another reading. Nine point, oh, sorry, <laughs> 10.02 ohm meters of parent resistivity. 797.7 milliamps, 0.4% uh, deviation, 597.7. Let's just take one more. Um, let's see what we get. Again, you can take as many as you want. It's stored in computer memory. Okay. So, uh, lots of data points here. I'll just uh, 10 point. Uh, one ohm meters, 803.9 milliamps, and uh, 602.6 uh, milliamps in the current. Sorry, 803.9 uh, milliohms. I don't have my glasses. And then uh, standard deviation, 0.3%. Okay, so we're going to go up to the next station. I had to move my tape measure because it wasn't long enough. Regardless, we are now at a three meter A spacing. Change A to 3.0 meters. Go ahead, take a reading. Nine point eight nine eight ohm meters, five twenty five point one milliamp resistance, zero standard deviation, five hundred and twenty one point seven milliamps for the current. Take a second reading. Nine 
9.898 ohm meters. Parent resistivity 525.1 milliamps. 527.7 for current. Let's take one more just for fun. See what it looks like. Okay, let's go on to the last station at four meters. This is stretching it from my ray. I'll do my best. Okay, this is the last station at a four meter A separation. Okay, this is the last station at four meters. So again, Venner array number three. Change the probe space into 4.0 meters. Enter MEA measure to start the reading. Twelve point six two milliamps. Or sorry, 12.62 ohm meters, apparent resistivity, resistance, 502.2 milliohms, standard deviation is zero, and the current, 539.2 milliamps. Take one more measurement as a repeat. Last measurement again, 12.61 ohm meters. Resistance is 501.6 milliohms. Zero on the standard deviation, 546.6 uh, milliamps for the current.